Hello everybody, welcome to my third time recording this goddamn video because the first time I got interrupted, the second time I didn't put in the port so it would record on my microphone and this time I'm just gonna wing it. So today I'm gonna be talking about Nier Automata which is a game I recently played that got me fucked up. I love it so much. Um, it's so good and I think it speaks volumes that I don't usually play video games and this is one of the ones that actually got me reeled in for a long time to the point where I wasn't answering friends for like five or six hours just because I was playing this game because I loved it so much. There's a few things that I wanted to talk about, specifically who I'm drawing in this video. It's just simple headshots but um, I like to draw them because they're first of all their designs are great and second of all they're amazing characters. But who I'm drawing is 2B and 9S, and I want to talk about them as characters, and I want to talk about the storyline and how it sort of contributes to that and why it's so amazing. And I'm also going to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, so bear with me, children. If you've played this game before, this is literally just me talking about how much I love it and sort of explaining the story to it. So the uh, basic premise for this game is that um, aliens invaded Earth, like, fuck, I don't know, like 11,000 years ago or some shit and they started creating machines and that drove humans off of earth to the moon and um, you find out some more information about that later but again i'm trying to keep it spoiler free so um just yeah i don't know take it i guess fuck i don't know um but anyways so they go to the moon and they create these androids and these androids come to earth to fight um to fight off the machines and basically clear off earth to make it better for humans and so, uh, you play as 2B, which is the one that I'm sketching right now, that's, um, she is what primarily actually got me into the game, because I saw a bunch of cosplayers cosplaying as 2B, and I also saw how pretty she was, so I kind of started playing for what most people start playing for, is how cute and amazingly, um, styled 2B is, and I stayed for the lovely storyline. And one thing to also, um, mention about the storyline is, don't do what I did, which is you don't okay, so you don't really get the storyline the complete the complete full storyline until maybe about route halfway through route two and especially through route three. So what don't do what I did, which is I started looking up near automata content as soon as I finished playing as 2B because I was like, oh yeah, that's the end of the game. You play as 2B, that's who they advertise the whole game as 2B. I was wrong. And I ended up getting spoiled for myself early on, but I still got to enjoy the game, you know, just for what it was. But, um, so you play as 2B in your first route, which is, um, ending A, 9S in your second route, which is ending B, and then, uh, 9S and A2 in your third route. Um, and that's not, that's not really spoiling a whole lot, I think most people knew that. But, um, don't, I definitely just know that the story doesn't wholly completely start until Route 2, but there's still a lot to be enjoyed in 2Bs, especially with the little details that it hints around about the story. And one thing I think I really liked about the characters and the character designs in this game was the fact that usually when, you cons when you're watching a show or when you're playing a game, it's always the girl that's gonna be weaker than the guy because oh, girls are always weaker than guys. There's never been a situation in the entire world where a girl has been stronger than a guy. <laughs> but anyways, um, I kind of like that uh, 2B is the stronger one. And people, I don't know if people are gonna hate me for that, um, some feminist stuff, but I like that 2B is stronger than 9S because you don't really see that a whole lot, and she, the reason she's stronger is because she's a battle model, which is why she's, uh, 2B. So she can equip two swords at a time, which makes her better equipped for battle, um, and I think she's just overall, like, physically programmed for it better. Whereas 9S, he is a search model, and he mostly gathers intel, and he can only equip one weapon at a time, um, so that kind of it makes him physically weaker i don't think he's weaker as a character um definitely not he's a great character very well written he's very intelligent and i just appreciate him and love him so much he's my boy but um that's that's one of the that's one of the good things that i like about the game and also about 2b being able to fight really well when you fight as her it's extremely fun um, I did, and oh, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I did use auto chips because I'm not 
very good at games and I really just love enjoying the story and the small aspects of the game. So I put it on auto chips and I just really, I love watching 2B fight. It's just so amazing because first of all, she can equip two weapons at once. So depending on the combo, she's going to be using one heavy weapon, one light weapon, depending on how you equipped it. And um, just the way she fights is so pretty. The dodging system is so cool because she kind of like phases out of existence and the way she fights sort of looks like she's dancing. And it's, there's sparkles everywhere. You know, it really, it caters to my aesthetic soul. And it's just so nice to watch. 9S is sort of the same. He's still fun to fight with. He's actually got this um, this other property because he doesn't equip two weapons and she does. So where her heavy weapon would be used, um, he can hack instead. And that's cool because it sort of makes you play a, a mini a mini game, a shooter mini game, um, to hack into whoever you're fighting. And then with the sword, of course, he can use that and he can switch out weapons, but he can't um, he can't use more than one of them at once. But I think that's cool how they uh, they made that little variance change too, and I just I love how the little details they put in there are just amazing. Um, like that one, for example, because he's a search model, so they purposefully make him to where he can do most of his damage when he hacks, as opposed to when he fights, because he's not he's not built for that. But uh, nevertheless, his fighting is still cool, and I just I enjoy it so very much. Um, I also enjoy the dynamic between these characters and that's not something you really realize until you're done playing the game but it really is interesting how they would interact and it's important to like pay attention to the little details so that you'll realize what's going on halfway through but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoy talking about near automata because i don't really like to just you know put all of my love of it out there but you know what fuck it it's youtube so um i did it Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want me to do more stuff like this, please like and comment and subscribe. Um, it lets me know what you guys want from me, and I would love to do stuff like that for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys!